I'm, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel on real estate. It's, it's hard work. It's a lot of hours. It's not um, fancy online stuff. It's not all these tools that you can buy. It's, you know, it's not videos. It's not always trying to come up with the next trend. It's picking up the phone and calling people. It's, um, again, it's building relationships that last a long time. I take great pride in that to this day, um, probably all but one or two clients, I can call up and say, hey, let's go to dinner. Not discuss business, not, um, not talk about real estate, just go, you know, enjoy fellowship with one another and, and uh, catch up. And uh, that's because I think, you know, I'm just really good at building relationships. Um, I try to create a, a brand for each home that I list. Um, you know, take an iconic picture of it and just kind of use that for everything. Not, not keep switching it up. You don't want to give people too much information. You want to build enough intrigue for them to come see the home. And then once you get them in the home, then, you know, that's where the relationship building takes over. So everything I do, every decision I've ever made in this industry is, is around brand. Early on, when I first started in real estate, I tried to I tried to play the part of realtor with the slacks and the, you know the nice shoes and you know the fancy car and it just it's just not me. And uh, once once I loosened up and just said you know hey you're gonna hire me or you're not you're gonna like me or you're not and you're gonna base your decision on what I can do for you, um, everything became a lot easier and it and it really started working out well. Mood, mainly. Mood, it, you know, I've got a lot of cool boots. I don't, I don't like the, uh, you know, it's good to have a good pair of brown and black boots, but, you know, I tend to go with a lot, something more, a little more flashy. And my first car was, was a 1970 Dodge Challenger, an old muscle car, bright yellow. Everybody's, you know, driving their, their new, uh, BMWs and everything to school and I pull up in this thing that's just got smoke pouring out of the tailpipe and uh, you can hear it inside the building and you know it's just nothing like an old car. I don't like being like everybody else, I like being me and it kind of fits. Growing up with my father, you know I got to see, you know, he was just dad, but there was always something about him that you know couldn't replace. It couldn't re quite place. And everybody talked, "Man, your dad's awesome. Your dad's a good guy." And uh, just the honor that that I learned of of, of how to live your right your life right, and um, that all came from the military. You know how how to to be responsible and and how to serve a higher calling because it is. You know um, the, these men and women that go fight for us are. You know, there's something different about them, and, and it's 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 a selfless act. And the older I got, the more I respected that, and the more I regretted not serving because I think it could have helped me immensely in my career. And uh, but this this is now my way to give back to serve. And uh, I've gotten to meet some amazing guys and gals through through the uh, the charity work that we've done. We try and raise as much money as possible for. Um, wounded veterans. Um, you know, I, I know guys that have been blown up, lost limbs, um, burned over most of their body. Man, they're just, they're some of the strongest human beings you'll ever meet. And we need to take care of these guys. 